Here's our first piece of vitrified rock on site. Here you can see the original stonework here, here, and here. And yet here is melted rock that has run through. Here, melted rock. Here, the rock has melted on the outside and yet it's still solid to here on the inside. You can see how close fitting the original structure may have originally been in this bubble between these two stones. But here we go. This is our first piece. That's a very, very interesting formation. I wonder what that is. That's part of that's got a much lower mole. So maybe this is original stone. This is breaking my nail. This Jesus, that's hard. It's all signs of the vitrification. It's bubbling effect here, see. It's so soft. But mortar would not bubble like that. This is molten stone that's flowed into the gap in the rocks. Our first evidence of vitrification. This was a loose piece, so we're unable to ascertain where on the apartments the um, uh, the ramparts this actually came from. Um, but this has been used as um, a piece in an open fire, part of an open fireplace. Um, hence discoloration. I don't believe that this is original, this discoloration. But this would not have happened around the open fire. It would have flowed out, not in around the open fire. This 